not all nozzles have an adjustable back gate. For those nozzles with an adjustable back gate, the wave should not flow over the gate until the board crosses over the wave. With a metal spatula, you can stop the flow by running it across the gate lip. You can start the flow again by dragging solder across the gate. Adjustment can be made to the back gate at the front of the pot. The long nut driver provided with the machine will raise or lower the gate. Notice the solder flow becomes a thin sheet as the gate is adjusted. Gate adjustment must be done every time the wave height is changed. As before, we can start and stop the flow of solder over the gate. Making recording. Getting ready to turn it back up. Hang on. Give me just 10 more seconds. Flux affects the surface tension of the wave, causing the flow to start over the back gate. Finally, we run the glass plate over the waves. The rotary chip wave should have around a half to one inch contact, and the main wave, an inch and a half to three inch contact. Wave contact requirements may differ based upon the board and nozzle requirements.